So here's an issue that I didn't even know was a problem until I launched an app recently and told a lot of people about it. And then I got people saying they couldn't find the app in the App Store. And now I included a link in the email for it, but what happens is a lot of people read that only on the Mac. And then they go to their iPhone or iPad and they search for the app by name. And this is what happens. I'm going to go into the App Store here on my iPad and I'm going to tap the search button at the bottom right. Now I'm going to type the name of the app. Now it has a unique name, so it should come up. And here's what happens. So my game is called Windward and you can see something comes up here called Windward High Prairie. That's nothing to do with my app. So why doesn't it come up in the search results? Well the answer is that these are not search results. What this is, what you're seeing here is auto completion. You start typing something and it auto completes uh, what you, it thinks you're going to type. So you can just tap it and you don't have to type the entire name of the app. The search actually happens when you tap the search button. You can see it's the blue button there on the keyboard. On the iPhone it's actually further down and to the right. Uh, but here it's just a big search button. I tap that. That's when I'm actually doing the search. It's a similar thing to when you search the web and you get a bunch of suggestions there by Google or whatever your search engine is uh, giving you some ideas. That's not the search result. You actually have to hit return on your keyboard or the search button on the uh, app's virtual keyboard to get there. Now you can see when you actually complete the search uh, there's that one that was auto completed but there's my app the, the one that's an exact match. That comes up first. Now why didn't my app come up as an auto complete result? Well it may in the future but uh, this is the first day that the app launched. Um, I'm recording this on Thursday you know, that first day of launch and uh, it just there haven't been enough people searching for it to get into the dictionary of autocompletes. Only uh, things that people have searched for over and over again are going to show up there. So give it a few days and maybe my app, Windward, will show up there as an autocomplete result. Now this difference between autocompleting a search result and actually doing the search happens everywhere. It's just that on iOS it kind of visually looks like you've almost done the search. For instance, here I am in the Mac App Store. Now I'm going to search for something. I'll search for a common app, Acorn. Uh, and you can see here under Suggestions just two things appear. And because it's just a small little uh, list of suggestions here you're not really thinking that that's the result. You kind of know that you need to hit Return. And when I do so, notice that the results there are actually five things that come up in the results, not just the two that were suggestions there. And that's going to be true for just about anything you search for. Uh, there's not going to be just those results that show up there as suggestions.